Stevie, you've had, what, 48 <laughs> hours to, to sleep on it? Woo! Goalkeeper being a man of the match, that's a problem. Nothing's changed. Why? Why is, it, why is that a problem Nothing. when one of the players... If, say, say Benzema scored a hat-trick, Worldy, just, well, hold, uh, just oh, absolutely oh, oh, did oh, brilliantly. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Well, Wait, why, are you coming, why are you coming at me here? I, I'm coming at you because... because I, I, you... All I'm saying is I've not changed my mind on anything that I said after the game. And so my, my point is Klopp coming out and saying the goalkeeper being a man of the match is a problem. Do you agree yeah. with that, sir? Well, he said it's a problem for the opposition, if you heard them. Are we not listening? No, yeah. I wasn't That's what he said. But well, why, couldn't why? Have been. He said that's a problem why is it for the a, opposition. Why is it a problem? Something was wrong. Well, because you're not going to win the game. If the goalkeeper saves everything, you're not going to win the game. And, and as you so, so put it the other day... Yes. Well, Liverpool never scored a goal. Right. Well, if you can't score a goal, you're not going to win the game. But so, I've, I've not changed my opinion on anything I said on, after the game. The fact is, is that as far as the way they played, Liverpool were the best team. Right. But they didn't score and lost the game. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything other than that. You know, Real Madrid rode the luck. You know, Angelotti... I do have to have a think about what Angelotti said there. They managed the game well. I mean, I guess he's been very, very... He's been very, very optimistic because if that's how he wanted to play the game, by having one shot at goal and his goalkeeper making three incredible saves, then I'm not going along with that. But nothing I said have changed. Listen. If, if it was a boxing match, Liverpool would have won on points, <laughs> but it's not. You've got to score goals, and, and that's it. Real Madrid have won it. Can't change it, but they weren't the better team. They were way off being the better team, but they got it done. The, the one thing that I, I think we must clarify and make sure that, that people are understanding is the fact that Real Madrid... This wasn't like Atletico Madrid getting behind the ball and just defending the whole game. It wasn't Mourinho's Inter just defending. They tried to play. They just couldn't. At times, they were trying to get out, but they just couldn't get out. They tried to commit numbers four, but they couldn't get numbers four because they did not have enough quality possession in the attacking half. Now, that all goes into the same rhetoric that Stevie said on Saturday and he's saying today, and that is Liverpool dominated. Liverpool created chances. Liverpool should have won the game, but Liverpool didn't score. And we have been on the wrong side of this many times in our careers, all of us at whatever level we've played, where you feel like you were the better team and you go into the locker room, you think, how did we lose that game? And in the end, you lost it and you lost it in the biggest moment possible. And that's what makes it the more frustrating for everybody who's looking at this from the perspective of Liverpool. Go on, Frank. Uh, well, I, I will absolutely go with, uh, with the guys where I think Liverpool was the best team. But we all know Real Madrid. I think nobody was surprised with the performance of Real Madrid. We saw that all Champions League campaign uh, long. Uh, and we all wondered, you know, and uh, even themselves, they wonder how they, they went through that. But that's a fact that they know how to handle the pressure. They know how to be courageous and have a spirit. But uh, their football is not there to convince people who uh, think that uh, you have to have the ball, you have to uh, have the position of the ball to, in order to win the game. Uh, having said that, I really think that Liverpool didn't play uh, their game in a way that I didn't recognize the Liverpool who normally gives a big pressure to the opponent. I didn't see that. The first 10, 15 minutes, I wondered, you know, what Liverpool is doing right now? Why they don't give the pressure? It's not the Liverpool I recognize. I talked half time to my uh, friend Vicente Rizarazu. He was at the stadium commentating. He said, what's wrong with, uh, with Liverpool today? And I said, oh, OK, I'm not the only one thinking of that. I think Liverpool didn't play the final like they normally played uh, or, or uh, the way they played the all season long. So it's maybe why they, they couldn't score, why they, didn't, they lost the game. But I think there is no surprise from Real Madrid. Uh, Jules, this year, your propaganda campaign to get Karim Benzema the Ballon d'Or is going to be a lot easier than last year, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Dream the dream. <laughs> yeah, I mean...
even Leo Messi tonight on, on Argentinian television saying like he deserves it. I mean, the season that he's had is incredible. Even if he didn't have the best of finals in terms of individual performance, there's that goal that we can debate over Fabinho playing the ball or not playing the ball, whatever, it doesn't matter anymore anyway. But yeah, over the season, he certainly feels like there's not, there's not more that he can do. And of course, there's a few games now and they will be, I guess, the start of next season, a little bit of it, and the start of, of next season's Champions League as well, before, before the, the vote closes uh, and, and the trophy is handed out in, in October. But I'd be very surprised if he doesn't win it, which, again, at his age and the season that he's had, the numbers that he put, the leadership that he showed and the trophies that he won, which is also important, even if it's not the main criteria anymore, is, is, is incredible. So I think he will be a worthy winner. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.